What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. As I mentioned in my previous video on language settings, there were a few misconceptions I found while working with some of my clients, and one of them is location targeting. So what I want to do in this video is go over the different location options when creating an account in Google Ads or Microsoft Ads, um, and just explain a little bit further what each option works. So let's get started. I have a screenshot here, as you can see, of the Google Ads interface. When you select a new, um, when you create a new campaign, and you know you scroll down, you fill in the campaign name and stuff like that, you are taken to this part, which is location. So let's suppose here my target is Canada. Let's suppose I'm selling a product that is only allowed to be sold in Canada. So which option do I pick for target and exclude? So this first option here, which says people in or who show interest in your target locations, that's the sum of the bottom two options. So I'm going to start with the second option actually, right here. Um, and we will go from top to bottom basically, okay? So this first option, people in or regularly in your targeted locations, what, what is that? It's pretty straightforward. If your keyword is, for example, let's suppose we're promoting uh, animal products, dog products, right, dog food. Um, if we only sell the dog food to people in Canada, right, let's suppose you're promoting a max bounty product that only has certain countries, they only allow traffic from certain countries, this is the option you would want to pick. So if I'm promoting dog food to people only in Canada because I only deliver to Canadians, I will select this option, people in or regularly in your targeted locations. Now, Google recently changed this. So as you can see here, it says regularly in your targeted locations, which means that if someone is a businessman or businesswoman and they travel a lot and, they, and Google notices that they are in Canada, but then they travel to US every few months or whatnot, they don't necessarily have to be present in Canada at the time of seeing your ad to potentially see your ad. So that's what that regularly means, right? Um, and again, as an example here, if you're selling products only to certain countries, this is the option you would want to pick, okay? So let's go to the next option so we have a little bit of comparison and we can understand what the difference is. People searching for your targeted locations. So if your keyword is dog food, right, um, and you're promoting in Canada, if someone in Afghanistan types in dog food Canada, let's suppose, I don't know, they're planning on moving to Canada in the next three months, and they say dog food Canada, your ad will then show up because they have the word Canada. They have that geographic word in their keyword. So a great example of why you should be using this setting is travel. Let's suppose you're promoting the Statue of Liberty, right? And you know people will be traveling from different countries. So in this case, it's not Canada. Statue of Liberty is in the US, obviously. Let's suppose I'm promoting to someone from Mexico, right? Um, so people in Mexico typing in, you know, want to book a Statue of Liberty flight. How much, like how much is it to go to New York, whatever. Your ad will show to them, even though they are not located in the United States, as in the, you know, previous example, people in or regularly in, because they typed in a word related to your place of target, in this case, United States, New York, right? Um, your ad will show to those people. So as I mentioned, a good example is travel. If you're trying to promote these pretty, these, these great places for people that aren't necessarily here yet, this is the option you might want to go with. And the first option is just a sum of the, of the first two that we described. So that um, someone in the location or outside of the location searching for your special keyword with the place will show up. So if someone's in New York searching for the Statue of Liberty, your ad will show up. If someone's in an outside country searching for Statue of Liberty in New York, your ad will also show up, okay? So it's just the combination of the two. So that should cover the targeting options. Now, once you're targeting, you're also excluding at the same time, because in this case, if I'm targeting Canada, I'm automatically excluding every other country in the world except for Canada. So let's go over this first option, which is people in your excluded locations, because it's it's an individual option. The, the first option here, people in or who show interest in, it's again, it's both, right? It's the sum of the two options. So I, I'm just gonna go step by step and go people in your excluded locations first. So this option is kind of the same. It, it's, it's, it's just the opposite of, of um, the first option, which is people in or regularly in your targeted location. So if you're targeting Canada, 
you want to exclude everybody that is not in Canada, right? That's pretty straightforward, simple enough. Now, the challenging part comes in if you have, if you're promoting something um, that is located in two different places at, at once. So what I mean is, for instance, Universal Studios, right? And that's where this part comes in. So if you are promoting Universal Studios in California, because there is also one in Florida, then if someone from California types in Universal Studios Florida, right? And your keyword is Universal Studios, you're promoting the California brand, your ad will also show up for them. But that's not what you want, right? You want only people searching for Universal Studios in California. You want only those people to show the ad for. But if you were to select people in your excluded locations and you excluded Florida, but people in California typed in Universal Studios Florida, your ad will show up to them. You don't want that because you're paying for wasted clicks. They're not interested in the California Universal Studios. So that's where this option comes in. And this is a good recommended option. So unlike the previous example where it would depend on your product and what exactly you're promoting, uh, in this case, the, the, the recommended setting is good because now if you're promoting Universal Studios in California and someone in, and, and, and you, let's suppose you excluded Florida, right? And someone is in California saying Universal Studios um, Florida, your ad will now not show up to them. So you will not be paying for wasted clicks. The search query must match the exact location that you're promoting. Uh, and it will just exclude anyone else. So I hope that makes sense. I hope this clears up a little bit. It could get a bit confusing, but I hope I went through every different possibility and um, kind of described what each of these settings would mean. So I hope you enjoyed this video. You will probably also like my other videos on Microsoft and Google ads. I help you do pretty much everything from start to finish creating those ads. Check out those videos. Otherwise, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.